Okay, so one thing you might have noticed is that the imagery, it looks pretty good, but it's a little bit washed out. It doesn't seem to be using all the colors that it could be, and that's actually true. It turns out that that naturally much of the, the uh, light that's being reflected or emitted from the surface is coming from a pretty narrow band, but we can, you know, what we want to do is sort of stretch those across all the 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 range of colors that can be used by the computer and that'll let us uh, kind of see a, a brighter and more contrast rich image so what we do it's pretty uh, simple is go in and we use the command hist eek and that just is called histogram equalize and the way you can think of it is is that in in the original image the there's a histogram that's kind of small and and uh, doesn't use an entire range of, of uh, sort of color, let's say red going from zero to, to one. But what we can do is, is in histogram equalize, we stretch that histogram across all of the, the possible uh, values of, of the red channel and then same with uh, green and same with blue. So that's what we do in this little for loop is we make a new 3D matrix for the um, RGB uh, image and we just uh, step through each each band, do a histogram equalization, put it into the appropriate uh, level in this uh, matrix, and and then you'll see the difference. And there you go. You can see that it's it's uh, quite a bit um, brighter and and uh, kind of a little bit more pleasing to the eye. And, and we can zoom in down around SP Crater and see that the the limestones on the left are brighter and then the darker lava flow in contrast with the original image which was uh, somewhat darker in that same area.